With less than two years of experience at CBS under his belt at the time, journalist Dan Rather reported on the assassination of President John F. Kennedy in 1963. On the 50th anniversary of JFK's death, Rather reflected on that cold moment with host Marvin Cow on The Cow Report. No emotions. Forget about the emotions. Keep laser beam focused, what the tennis players call zoned. You get zoned on the story. Days later, his emotions soon took a toll. My emotions kicked in. What most people experience over the four dark days in Dallas, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday with the funeral, it was about seven or eight days after that when some of the pressure got off that I won't say I collapsed emotionally, but I had the kind of emotional reaction most people had over those four dark days. But after the dark days, Rather says America's stronger side prevailed. We had a, a smooth transfer of power at the very apex when we were under ex extreme pressure. And what that said about the country, the strength of the country, and uh, I think it was a great deal. And when we talk about lessons of the Kennedy assassination, what did we learn? Uh, that's something we learned, and we should be very careful to pass on to our children and grandchildren. When it comes to studying JFK's presidency in the future, Rather believes. And I do think that's the reason that 50 or 500 years from now, in the history of the country, they won't be studying the Kennedy presidency as a great presidency because it was so short, but they'll be studying it uh, as, as an indication of what the country thought it could be. In Washington, Brittany Exum, the U News Service.